Hey guys, Nick here from Just Few Studios, and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a Q&A for Transcrafters and Transformers in general. Before I get this Q&A started, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the positive response on uh, the Transcrafters Revenge of the Dragon Episode 1, as well as the uh, Transformers The Last Night reaction I did a while back. So those are the main sources I'll be pulling questions from, so uh, without further ado, let's get into things, shall we? Uh, the first thing I guess I'm going to be talking about here is Devastator, which Joe Tranch, Tranch, I want to say is how you pronounce the name. I could be totally wrong, sorry if I butchered it, but uh, you actually asked about Devastator or said you can't wait to see Devastator, so uh, while I can't tell you much because I don't want to spoil the surprise that I'm working on for Devastator, let me assure you that he should be pretty awesome. So all I'm really going to say is it's probably going to be the coolest boss battle I have ever made. And it's going to be kind of a mix between the Megatron boss battle in Season 1 and for those of you Minecraft players who have been around for a while, the uh, Cake boss. So kind of a mix between those two things will come together and be the end result for the Devastator boss battle, assuming everything works out the way I want it to. And again, I'm probably going to mispronounce all these names because I suck with names, but let's move on to the next common. Uh, Jimmery Gazer asked, uh, Thanks and all the new Autobots. I also see Optimus has a new form smart move. So all the characters have new skins, which I wanted to do A because I wanted to keep everything fresh and looking new, as well as um, I wasn't super happy with all the skins for season one. Some of them looked good like Bumblebee's I was fairly happy with, but like Ratchet's it was the G1 where I was thinking it would have worked a little bit better if we got the green and luckily Ivan. Uh, he found a skin that was green that worked for Ratchet, and it was actually a Ratchet skin that worked perfectly with Revenge of the Fallen. So we imported that as well as new skins for every character. I don't think we have any characters that use the same exact skin, so that worked out pretty well. I might do that for Season 3, I don't know. It depends what I find out there that works. I'll probably get a new skin for Optimus for when it comes to Season 3, but I don't know about anyone else. Now this one I find interesting, again it's not really a question, uh, but Nash7117, uh, or 7117, however you want to say it, uh, asked or said, uh, Michael Bay admits failure on Transformers 4, says Transformers 5 will end the franchise. This was a comment from my uh, last night reaction I did, which I find this interesting. It feels like after every Transformer movie, he says, yeah, that was a failure. I'll do better next time, though. So, I find it interesting that he did not only that again, because, let's be honest, Age of Extinction, while it wasn't the best movie on the planet, wasn't the worst either, but apparently he believes that he could have done better, which hopefully means good things for Transformers 5, hopefully. So, we'll have to see. He's been doing a lot of good stuff lately, I have some faith in him. Hopefully Transformers 5 will be the best Transformers movie yet. Uh, so, it is interesting that Transformers 5 might end his franchise. So, where could they go from that? I am hoping for a Cybertron movie, but that's... We have to wait for Transformers 5 to get done, and then for the studios, Paramount, and all them to decide, okay, what's our next step? Transformers is making us a lot of money. Do we want to reboot? Do we want to do a Cybertron movie? Do we want to do some kind of... Uh... Some kind of... Uh... What is the word I'm looking for? Just as an S. That's right, spin-off. Or maybe some kind of spin-off movie with a lesser known character like a Bumblebee movie or a Dinobot movie. Who knows what they're gonna end up deciding to do. I'm just hoping for a Cybertron movie. Kind of based in the same realm of War for Cybertron and Fall for Cybertron where you kind of see their war and why they had to come to Earth. I think that would be really cool to see on the big screen. Next on the list, Brady Santoro. Uh, said, I thought the Dinobots were nice. So that was probably me, uh, or in response to when I said in that video that the uh, Optimus was the last knight, kind of like how in the original trilogy he was the last prime. And that is true, the Dinobots are kind of knights, but they, they vaguely explain the knights thing, so maybe the Dinobots died or will die or something like that. The whole last knight title kind of surprises me. But we'll have to see, I'm sure Michael Bain, the writers, <laughs> bless the writers' hearts, uh, have something good worked out this time. Again, Transformer scripts, the thing I try and remember, they try and make them as simplistic as possible because it's really a kid's movie. 
you always have to remember that it's a kid's movie, so they're going to try and stay as simplistic as possible, which, again, brings me to the point of, in my reaction, I don't think I made my thoughts entirely clear, because with all my reactions, it's the heat of the moment. This is like the first time I'm watching this, so it's all the thoughts that come to me at that moment. And even while editing, I didn't think uh, about this. I don't, I apparently didn't make my thoughts very clear because all these people came at me saying, uh, hey, I think it's Nemesis Prime, it's Nemesis Prime, you're wrong, it's not Unicron, that's clearly Nemesis Prime. I didn't mean when I was saying all those things that I thought the uh, Transformer that you see in that teaser was Unicron. I meant that Unicron is the one behind the things that are going on in Transformers 4 and Transformers 5 because we never found out who hired Lockdown, so I'm suspecting that it is Unicron. Not the face that you see, I don't think that's Unicron, that's clearly uh, Nemesis Prime, or my main theory, because uh, Optimus went out into space, I'm guessing he found Unicron, Unicron captured him, brainwashed him, turned him into Nemesis Prime, and is now sending him back to Earth as a weapon. Because keep in mind, the end of Age of Extinction, Optimus went out into space to who knows where. So he's not even on Earth, so all the theories saying that uh, Unicron made or somebody made Nemesis Prime and sent him off to kill Optimus. Keep in mind, Optimus isn't on Earth, so if he sent him to Earth, he'd be in the wrong place. But yeah, I just wanted to make that clear for anyone who saw it, that I believe that face you saw is Unicron, because it is not Unicron, that is Nemesis Prime or Optimus brainwashed in whatever whatever your theory is. I don't think that that face was Unicron. I meant Unicron is behind all of this. Whew, now they got that out of the way. Uh, who is next? Uh, uh, Jim Marie again. Uh, I'm so happy and here's some advice. Instead of saying new armor, just say new scant form, which would have been smart, but that is something that I am not. And sadly, I don't think I'll ever get a chance to correct that because I was just saying that that first episode to say that's why there's such a big change in how I look. And now that I got that out there, I probably won't have to say it ever again. But if I do, it will come out of my mouth as scanned form, not armor. And Space Squared asked, uh, or he said, this is actually, I believe, three questions in the one comment here. So give me a minute to get to each one of these. Uh, this is really awesome. Thank you so much for this. And I have a couple of questions for the q and if that's okay. The first one is, uh, how many episodes are there going to be in the series? In season one, there were ten, I think. Will this be longer? So, uh, this season, season two, is going to have ten episodes again. The difference is, these ten episodes are going to be longer, because in season one, we had a lot of six-minute episodes and all that. The episodes were very short. We only had a couple of videos that were over, like, 12 minutes. All these I'm going to try and keep in the 12 to 25 minute range. So you're going to get a lot more content in each episode, but the same amount of episodes. And believe me, season one, we might have a couple of eight minute ones, a couple of under 12 minute ones, but I will make up for that in the back half of the season. Let me assure you, I wrote out the scripts for each episode. The back half, holy crap, there's a lot going on in those episodes. So those episodes should definitely be in that long category. And the next question in that comment, uh, also, will you introduce the other Transformers in the Transformers mod, like Verb, Sky, uh, Sky Strike, Cloud Trap, and the others in the series? Now, I would love to. In fact, initially I had planned to make Verb sideways, so that they would be one character, and the only problem is, there is no way to get the Transformer models onto the NPCs. I've tried everything I could think of, even reached out to the Transformers mod maker for help with this kind of thing. I never got a response back, so sadly, we will not be seeing any of the other Transformers in the Transformers mod this season. Maybe season 3, I would love to see them all in season 3, but not season 2, sadly. And my last one, uh, will you have any actual players in the series? or uh, have it on a server of some sort. So to answer that question in Transcrafter Season 2, no. However, there are several other projects that here at Just Free Studios we have kind of planned that uh, might very well be that. In fact, a couple that we've been brainstorming will have to be on a server, and Season 3 of Transcrafters might be on a server as well. 
The problem with that all is we're kind of dealing with some stuff right now at Jesse Studios behind the scenes of everything. Uh, I'll quickly go into it now. It's, I'll keep it pretty concise. Uh, and there are no hard feelings here. I totally understand the reasons for all of this. But basically, just for those of you who don't know, behind the scenes at Just Free Studios, it's myself, Ivan, and then Raphael, the Just Free Studios artist. And Ivan, he's done a lot of work for us the past six months, planning stuff, uh, working on some stuff behind the scenes and all that. But it's just to the point where it's kind of too much for him, he needs some time off. So he kind of lumped the channel a while back. Again, no hard feelings. I totally understand this is not the first time that anything like this has happened. This has happened before. I've been on YouTube for about three years now. This is about the fourth or some time that this kind of thing has happened. I totally understand. But it just kind of sets back a few things. So we're trying to figure some stuff out. Trying to replace the void that is Ivan because I miss him. He is a great part of the team. And we're just trying to figure some stuff out behind the scenes, which is why there's going to be a Transcrafters episode out this week, episode 2, but instead that had to be pushed back to next week. A few other things like that are going on, but we're all working that out, and no hard feelings, it's all for the best. Uh, Joe Trash again asked, or said, that was amazing, poor Michael. And the reason I kind of had that whole bit with Michael is because I wanted to keep you on your toes. I wanted to give you something different. What more different than having it open on a human perspective, the human perspective during the whole Shanghai op, and also add the kind of feel so you can see why uh, Simmons was kind of going after the Autobots and all that. And plus, for those of you who didn't get the reference, Michael was kind of a nod to Michael Bay as the director. Uh, and finally, final thing to talk about, uh, Joe once again said, I can't wait to see how you embarrass Sam at college. I have a few things planned for that, the actually main one I believe, you are going to see an episode 2 of Transcrafter, so that will be fun. And then you'll get another one in episode 3 or 4. Three, it's going to be episode 4, I believe, is the other time you get some more Sam at college stuff. But that's basically all that I got, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and I'll try and reply and get back to you in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget that subscribe button to become a turtle today. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Woo!